In this video, I will show you how to navigate between screens in your Flutter app using Go Router package, which you can find in pub.dev. In Flutter, there are several approaches to routing. One of them is Go Router, a declarative and minimal routing system built on top of Flutter's router API. Go Router package provides a convenient URL based API to navigate between different screens. To use this package, Add the latest package dependency into your Flutter project. So here I have created a home screen stateless widget class represent home screen and a details screen stateless widget class represent details screen. Both widgets have a simple app bar title and an elevated button. Now to implement Go Router, firstly we have to set up route configuration using Go Router. Go Router takes a list of Go Route object. Each Go Route object represents a single route. We have to specify the path parameter of the route, and builder parameter will be responsible to return the screen widget. So for the first route, I will return home screen widget. Next, let's create the second route. Exactly same format, just different path name and returns details screen widget. Now, if you are using Go Router on handling navigation, you have to use Material App dot Router rather than Material App. In the Router Config parameter, pass in the Router configuration that we had set up just now. At this point of time, we have completed Go Router setup. Now, in the Elevator button we have to navigate to details screen. To do this, we will be calling context.go function and specify the path name that you wanted to navigate to. The name must be the same and exist in your configuration above. While in details screen, we have to navigate back to home screen. Now, let's try it out in the simulator. So, as you can see, when I click on the elevator button, home screen is replaced by the detail screen. Same goes to the detail screen button, which home screen will replace the detail screen. So, by default, if you are adding route parallel as shown, Whenever you call context.go function, it will replace the current screen with the new screen. If you want the screen to stack up, you have to add route in a nested way as shown. Now let's try it out in the simulator. So as you can see when I click to navigate, the new screen shows a back button on top left which indicates that the new detail screen actually stack on top of the home screen rather than replacing it. Next, I will be showing you how to pass parameter value while navigating. For example, I add a new string parameter to the details class constructor. So whenever details class widget created, it needs a string parameter together. I will modify the body code to display the string parameter value passed into this widget class constructor. Now for routes that 
needed parameter value, we have to specify a new name parameter and modify the path name with semicolon and the parameter value name. Now in the detail screen widget below, we have to pass in a string value for the name parameter. We can access the parameter value passed in using state.pathParameter and specify the key value. So here I will specify the key as name. This means that it will retrieve the value in the map which the key value is name. Now coming to our elevator button function, we can no longer use context.go function. Instead, we have to use context.go name function, which provides a path parameters. These path parameters accept a key value pair. Firstly, specify the path name, followed by the path parameter key value pair. So I will create a key called name because we said it before with the value of testing 1, 2, 3. So in above, when detail screen widget return, it looks for the value which the key is name, which the value is testing 1, 2, 3 will be passed in. Now let's try it out in the simulator. So as you can see, when I click on the elevator button to navigate, you can see that testing 1, 2, 3 is passed into detail screen and display in the text widget. In conclusion, this is how you handle routing in Flutter using Go Router package. Go Router approaches is highly recommended if you are building Flutter web. If you have any question on implementation, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.